environmental risk facing us. In Ireland, the most recent estimate shows air pollution causes more than four premature deaths every day, with particles from smoky coal the main culprit. It's now over 1,200 days since it was announced that the ban on burning smoky coal would be extended nationwide. The government is obliged to reduce particulate pollution by 10% by next year, yet there's still no sign of the nationwide ban being introduced. The EPA says Enniscorthy, where this type of pollution averaged 50% above WHO guidelines, is typical of towns waiting for the ban to be implemented. What sets Enniscorthy apart is that it has got a very good air monitoring station collecting some of the best air quality data in the country. Apart from that, however, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, it is just typical of the majority of towns and villages around the country where, despite promises and announcements to the contrary, it is still legal to sell bituminous or smoky coal. The data for here showed that on six occasions over the past six weeks, air quality breached all safety standards. Effectively, it was not safe for the public to be outside. For people who don't have any lung disease or anything like that, it is, it is unhealthy. You are breathing in a particle, they're carcinogenic. For people who have asthma, it is actually uh, a life or death, uh, it can be. 76-year-old Anne Fitzgerald has been feeling the effects of poor air quality her whole life. I have asthma all my life, all my children have asthma, and I lost my eldest boy, 20, 32 years ago now, next May, from asthma. I have a friend who does a lot of walking, and she said when she comes in, her clothes are stink from the smell of the air. These highly energy efficient houses in the town have air filters on their ventilation systems that show how bad the situation is. This filter has come out of one of the houses here in Enniscorthy just one week ago. This filter has been in that house for 12 weeks, only 12 weeks. It's coal, it's exhaust fumes from cars and lorries, but predominantly coal. The minister responsible for environment, Richard Bruton, says he is now going to wait for a new all-of-government clean air strategy before dealing with the smoky coal ban. When the smoky coal ban was introduced in Dublin, it saved 350 lives per year. And there is little doubt that there would be some significant benefits if it was extended nationwide and into towns just like this one. George Lee, RTE News in Enniscorthy in County Wexford.